when you're shopping online, how important is it to you to see five-star reviews? Well, that's the subject of today's Idea of the Day. Like most people, when I shop online on a site like Amazon, one of the most important things for me to do beyond reading the descriptions and looking at the photos and the price especially, is I look at the reviews. The reviews give you a good general sense of the product, but there are a lot of times where I look at those reviews and I have to ignore them. I just have to ignore them. And that is because sometimes there aren't enough reviews for the quantity of stars to be relevant. For example, let's just say there's one review, just to make an extreme one review for the product and it's five stars. Well, you can almost guarantee that if it's one review, that the person who re wrote that review was probably the manufacturer, a friend of the manufacturer, an invited guest or something like that. It's not enough reviews. So you understand where I'm going here. So if it's, if one review is not enough, what about 10? Well, 10 is the same problem. What you're going to have is a mixture of two different extremes. You're going to have competitors that are going to try to knock them down right away, which happens a lot. And I happen to be an Amazon uh, top 500 reviewer. I've written a lot of reviews. And what I've seen often, and I've even had email conversations with some of the manufacturers, is sometimes a new product comes out and a competitor who has almost the same product will go out of their way to write negative reviews about a competitor's product, thinking that, well, if they get in there early enough, when there aren't a lot of reviews, they have a good chance of literally taking down the product so it's totally irrelevant and no longer selling. Meaning, if you've got only 10 reviews and eight of them or seven of them or six of them were written negatively, they're screwed. They're not going to sell any. And conversely, I also, again, don't care. If there's a small number of views, I won't look at the fives because they can easily plant those there too. What you really need to see when there aren't a lot of reviews is the three-star reviewers. Because nobody who's trying to either pump up a product or shoot down a product because it's a competitor is going to write a middle-of-the-road review saying, yes, it was decent. It was average. It was fine. It did what I wanted. Thank you. Three stars. So in cases where there aren't a lot of reviews, pay attention to the ones in the middle. Pay attention to the three-star reviews. They're going to be the most honest of them all. The ones saying five could be a plant. The ones giving one could be a plant as well, trying to take them down. The only time you should really focus on five-star reviews is if you see hundreds, if not thousands of them. When you see a lot of people liking a product, you know something's right because they could never get that many fake reviews on a product. And that's today's idea of the day. All right. So that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day, every day. Yeah. Some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe and you can see them here every day. Brand new one. And, and some of my videos don't suck either. <laughs>